वाहे गुरु 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 वाहे हम अवगुण परे एक गुण नाही अमृत छाड़ बिखे बिख खाही माया मोह परम पै पूले सुत दारा स्यो प्रीत लगाई एक उत्तम पंथ सुनियो गुर संगत तह मिलंत जम त्रास मिटाई एक अरदास पाठ कीरत की गुरु रामदास राखो सरनाई गुरु रामदास राखो सरनाई आयो सुनन सुनन पढ़न को बानी नाम विसार लगह अन लालच बिरथा जन्म परानी बिरथा जन्म परानी बलिहारी गुर अपने दियो हाड़ी सदवार जिन मानस ते देवते किए करत ना लागी वार जे सो चंदा उगवह सूरज चढ़े हजार एते चानन होंदिया गुरबिन कोर अंधार गुरबिन कोर अंधार तान तान गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी दे हाजरी विच बैठे हुए सा संगत जी रब के फतेह बान जी वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह सा संगत जी भाई विक्रम सिंह विक्रम जी सिंह गिव इंटरेस्टिंग इंट्रोडक्शन यू नो अपन डेढ़ साल हो गया स्टार्ट इन दिस YouTube चैनल पीपल आर लर्निंग but it's interesting that our pant rather than watching and learning about bani they'd be more interested in watching a debate between some other person and a sikh now this is kaljug sama hai na so unfortunately this is the way it is in kaljug that people are more interested by things that are controversial rather than sitting there and going through jabji sahib now is maraj is kid as well because they made that video happen apa to baithe sige doing our prachar he came looking for it hai na ਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਜਵਾਬ ਦੇਣਾ ਪਿਆ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਡਿਨ ਆਸਕ ਐਨੀ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਬੈਕ ਬਟ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਨਾ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਮੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਨੇ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਕੀਤਾ ਸਮ ਆਫ देम ਗੇਵ ਮੀ देयर ਪਰਸਨਲ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸਿਸ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਥੋੜਾ ਦੁੱਖ ਵੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਲਿਸਟਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦੋਸ ਪਰਸਨਲ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸਿਸ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਇਨ ਅ ਵੇ ਪੀਪਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਮੀ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਲੈਟ ਦਾ ਪੰਥ ਡਾਊਨ ਪਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਾੜਾ ਹਾਲ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਪਿਛਲੇ 13 ਸਾਲ ਹੋ ਗਏ both madahal hoya the people haven't stepped up to explain our religion to our own youngsters and where the people have stopped us our elders we haven't stood up and fought them back we've taken the battle we've lost it but we didn't come back to fight another day asi haar ke chhad ke chale gaye so there's a need now for those people that know a little bit for those people that love their guru a lot to step up and start making a change because it's not good enough frankly it's not good enough that we're not telling our kids what sikhi is and that they are being converted yesterday i got a phone call because kam did a bainti sir come and talk about guru granth sahib ji kali mainu phone call aaya sham nu ek bibi punjab to aayi si gi she's young student studying manchester she phoned me she goes ki i study with muslims most of the time all the sh- sh- her uh, fellow students unne bahut patkaya unu that poor girl was given so many questions they all they said they're her friends but the whole time how a friend should act towards you support you not try to break your faith can this she stop going to gurdwara now because they put so much shanka in her mind she didn't know what was going on she finally luckily maharaj kripa she found a poster not our poster she found a poster for seek help line to gani sukha singh told her to give me a call now Isn't it a shame that that girl couldn't go to the gurdwara and ask the granthi the question ha tu si jande hai gyo aaj kal ki ho reha hai ga people don't go to the gurdwara to seek enlightenment is saadi galti hai gi kisi hor di galti nahi it's not guru granth sahib ji's galti it's not guru gobind singh ji's galti it's not guru amar das ji's galti when they appointed so many pracharaks 
ਹੂਸ ਗਲਤੀ ਇਜ਼ ਮੇਰੀ ਗਲਤੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਗਲਤੀ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਲੈਟ ਆਵਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਡਾਊਨ ਟੂ ਨਾਟ ਡੂ ਪਰਚਾਰ ਆਫ ਹਿਸ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਮਾਰਚ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨਾ ਦ ਦੇ ਕੇਮ ਅਪਨ ਥਿਸ ਅਰਥ ਟੂ ਸਪੈਡ ਦ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਹੌਂਟਾ ਡੀ ਵੇਕਾਰ ਕਾਰੇ ਲਾਇਆ ਮਾਰਚ ਸੇਸ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਅਨਇਮਪਲੋਇਡ ਟਾਡੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕੰਮ ਤੇ ਲਾਤਾ ਫਿਰ ਟਾਡੀ ਕਰੇ ਪਸਾਓ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਵਜਾਇਆ ਟਾਡੀ ਵਾਸ ਸਪੋਜ਼ ਟੂ ਸਪੈਡ ਆਊਟ ਐ ਸਿੰਗ ਦ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਮਾਰਚ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਖੋ ਆਇਓ ਸੁਣਨ ਪੜਨ ਕੋ ਬਾਣੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੈਦਾ ਹੀ ਹੋਏ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਜਨਮ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਟੂ ਲਿਸਨ ਐਂਡ ਰੀਡ ਬਾਣੀ ਤੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਫਰਜ਼ ਬੰਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਬਾਣੀ ਦੀ ਉਸਤਤ ਕਰਨੀ ਤੇ ਬਾਣੀ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਾਣਾ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਲੇਡੀ ਇਸ ਤਰੇ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਹਰ ਬਿਗੈਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਸ਼ੀ ਹੈਡ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਕੀਪ ਆਸਕਿੰਗ ਹਰ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੂਵ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਕਿ ਕੁਰਾਨ ਕੁਰਾਨ ਸ਼ਰੀਫ ਇਸ ਕਮ ਡਾਊਨ ਫਰਮ ਹੈਵਨ ਯੂ ਪ੍ਰੂਵ ਵਾਈ ਯੂ ਫਾਲੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਬੁੱਧ ਪੂਜਾ ਹੈਗੀ ਮੱਥਾ ਟੇਕਣਾ ਮਾਫ ਕਰਨਾ ਸਾਥ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਸੱਚ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਕਹੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਯੂ ਬਾਉ ਡਾਊਨ ਟੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਬਟ ਯੋਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਸੇਸ ਡੋਨਟ ਵਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਆਈਡਲਸ ਸੋ ਵਾਈ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਬਾਉ ਡਾਊਨ ਟੂ ਅ ਬੁੱਕ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਕਹੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਦ ਬਿਚਾਰੀ ਡਿਨ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਸੇ ਬੈਕ ਵਾਈ ਡਿਸ ਸ਼ੀ ਨੋਟ ਨੋ ਕਿਉਂ ਨੋਬਡੀ ਹੈਡ ਆਰਮਡ ਹਰ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਨੋਲੇਜ ਨੋਬਡੀ ਹੈ ਸੈਟ ਡਾਊਨ ਕਿ ਪੁੱਤ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਓਲਡ ਇਨਫ ਨਾਓ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਥੀਸ ਵੈਪਨਸ ਇਨ ਯੋਰ ਆਰਮਰੀ ਕੋਈ ਹਵਾਰ ਕਰੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਢਾਲ ਵੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਹੱਥ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਡਿਫਲੈਕਟ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਰ we should be able to deflect and we should be able to if need be attack back they na ja rahe then we give them such a katappa they never come back to us so today i'm going to talk maraji kirpa about guru granth sahib ji and the authenticity of guru granth sahib ji why do we worship the shabad why do we bow down to guru granth sahib ji and also why is guru granth sahib ji so important to us how is a ilahi bani how can we say to our sikh ke dekho hai ki cheez any vaddi cheez why do we believe in it so much before i start though i have to say that we can't do ajra this task is impossible for someone like me because maharaj ji bani is beant guru gobind singh ji is beant guru granth sahib ji is beant mai kehne kya ho kathi kathe ka dekha mai akath na kath na jaye we can't do katha of how amazing they are because they are baho waho bani nirankar hai this is jevad avar na koi no one like me can step up on the stage and do usut of the guru enough that means anoop na the upma cannot be done anoop they are that great we can't praise them enough let's start with what is the point of a guru bani is telling us that a guru is somebody who joins you back to god The guru is here to give you the truth about life. The very first truth we know is that we have come from Waheguru. Physically, scientifically we know the duniya has become from ik. Ik to paida hui hai. Te wapas ik to hi jana hai ga. Where we come from, we got to go back there. And every religion will tell you that the point of a religion is to get you to God. Mukti keh lo, bahisht keh lo, swarg keh lo, whatever you want to call it, heaven Every religion says that the point of a religion is to join you back to God. So, to judge a guru, if we are to judge a guru, we must judge him by the same criteria. Can a guru join us back to Waheguru? If that's the main purpose of a guru and they complete that purpose, then Guru Sahib is kamyab as a guru that they've achieved that purpose. Now, Maharaj tells us har jug jug bhagat upaya ਪੈਜ ਰੱਖਦਾ ਆਇਆ ਰਾਮ ਰਾਜੀ ਵਸ ਹੂਸ ਪੈਜ ਸਾਡੀ ਪੈਜ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਇਜ਼ ਕੀਪਿੰਗ ਆਵਰ ਆਨਰ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਬਾਈ ਸੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਇਨਲਾਈਟਨਡ ਬੀਇੰਗਸ ਅਪਨ ਦੀ ਅਰਥ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਅਸ ਦ ਟਰੂਥ ਸੋ ਫੋਰਐਵਰ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਬੀਗਿਨਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਟਾਈਮ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਸੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਪਗਟਸ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਪੀਪਲ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਗੋਡ ਬਿਸ ਆਵਰ ਗੁਰੂਸ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਦ ਪਗਟਸ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਟੂ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਪੀਪਲ ਬੈਕ ਸੋ ਲੈਟਸ ਲੁਕ ਇਨ ਬਾਨੀ ਫਰਸਟਲੀ you can judge a text or you can judge a guru because we're talking about guru granth sahib ji you can talk about guru granth sahib you can have some kind of feelings about them upon the depth of that guru if it's deeper i'll give you a scientific example if you were to understand when we were at school we started to study maths and they gave us gcse maths textb
And you think, I can put my head on this and go to sleep. And when you're reading it, you might well do that. But the depth of it is there. That explains everything behind in Vistar. Not in Sankhip, not in short, but in depth. Slowly taking the person into the deepest levels of that mass. So for me, Gurbani is deeper than any other text out there. And it is like the PhD, post PhD level that you might think about the science of getting to Wahiguru is the deepest form of that science. Which is why actually Guru Granth Sahib is bigger than most of the texts out there as well. But the depth of it is so much. Let's go into that. Proof of that text, of that working is number one, that the knowledge it has inside it. So it's not, it's not good enough, Jive, what they were trying to do to me in that conversation, to get me to just accept the Quran. Not in the depth, to just accept it. It's more important to look at the words itself within it. Tikana, what does it teach? It's me telling you, I don't know maths, but suddenly one day I wrote out this book and look at it, how amazing it is. For me to prove it to you, I've got to prove the maths within it works. Yeah? So therefore, we have to look at the content before we start judging the, the whole origin of it. We have to look at the content. So let's look at the content of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. If it is our Guru, point of a Guru is to join us to Vaheguru. Mara says, Sat Purak Jin Janiya, Sat Gur Tiska Nao, Tiske Sang Sikh Udare, Nanak Har Gun Gao. So a Guru is supposed to get us to join us to Vaheguru. It must have the truth within it. The thing is, when you, comp- when you make any kind of text, now we made some leaflets, right? Writing down the bare bones is very easy. Co- closing it off, editing it, making it perfect, that's much harder. I'm going to start, I'm going to go around the issue to get to the point. The editing of a kitab, of any kind of kitab, Guru Granth Sahib is not a kitab, it's our guru, but to any kind of text, the editing is the hardest job to make it absolutely perfect. The thing with Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj is that if we are going to trust someone to edit a text, we are blessed that our gurus edited the text themselves. Jesus Sahib, he was not around to edit the Bible. Muhammad Sahib was not around to edit the Quran. There's a big iffy there because the editing I said is the hardest part, isn't it? To make sure that everything is absolutely perfect. Now a lot of Sikhs don't know this, but like for example at the end of Asadivar, there's a word, Shud. Yeah? At the end of it we say, right at the end of it we will say, Sud. Why do we say Sud, which means the word Shud? It means it's pure. But why is that word pure there? Because Guru Ajahn Dev Ji Maharaj has now just checked the Bani that Pai Gurdashi is written. Pai Gurdashi is writing, Guru Ajahn Dev Ji Maharaj is Dindu Charna. Then afterwards, Guruji goes back and checks all the things that Pai Gurdashi has written. If there's a tippy missing, an onkar missing, they put it in. And then they go, Shud. Okay, it's pure now. This, just this one word, they call, I'm not talking any deep, just that one word, just think about it. The editing and checking is done by the person who got the message. No one else, the person who got the message. The person who was enlightened. So surely, that book is much more trustworthy than any other, any other thing. Because if the person who wrote it, if the person who did the, who is the source of all the evidence, actually checks it over, it's more authentic than anything else. We are blessed that Guru Ajahn Dev Ji Maharaj in 1604, when they put Aad Granth Sahib together, they themselves checked it. From Aad Granth Sahib to Guru Granth Sahib Ji Sahasanga Ji, very little Bani was added. Only Guru Tegh Bhada Ji's Bani, okay? which is only Saloks, one more rag of uh, Jai Jai Vanti, but really 95% was the same. And Maharaj themselves checked it. In their own lifetime as well. Now, the same, if we look at any text, Quran, Lelo, um, the Vedas, even uh, the Torah, we don't know the person who is the prophet didn't compile those texts. It's, it's nowhere in the world that this happened. Only Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji was compiled and checked by the Gurus themselves personally. And then it hasn't changed since the Guru themselves. And we've got the signature from our Guru. So obviously, it's important. Now, one of the things people say, well, 
they say that Prophet Muhammad was illiterate. It's irrelevant to us. Let's talk about our Guru. If Wahi Guru is choosing to send a message upon the earth, yeah, they could do two things. They could give it to somebody unpar who can't check it, can't edit it, might make mistakes. Or they could give it to somebody who is not just unpar but extremely well educated. Guru Ji Maharaj, educated in the Quran, educated in, uh, in all the different texts. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, when they're writing Zafar Nama in Persian, at the same time they're writing a Braj, same time they're writing in Hindi, they're, they're in Chandi Diwar, Deklo, Punjabi. So much Bani they've put in different, different languages. Just the mere fact that the person is literate is helpful, isn't it? Especially if you're planning to send down the message from Wahiguru. Everybody can make mistakes. So the person who has to be the ultimate decision maker to decide which is right, what isn't right, it's more helpful if that person is educated. And our Guru Sahib was. So it, well, the very first thing we can say, it's authentic to me because my Guru was educated, my Guru was literate, and my Guru themselves compiled it, they signed it off. So the thing comes back to his Guru. For a Sikh, the first thing a Sikh says is, I don't want to prove Guru Granth Sahib Ji to you, I'm going to prove my Guru to you. Once I believe in my Guru, automatically I believe in Guru Granth Sahib Ji, automatically I believe in Sikhi. So, you know, most religions are trying not to prove the Prophet to you. They're trying to prove the Kitab, especially Islam, is trying to get people to believe in the Quran first. They don't try and tell you about Prophet Muhammad that much. You, you know, as more than me probably, how many conversations you've had with people over the years at school. They won't talk about anything else. They'll talk about the Quran very first. They're trying to get you to buy the Quran first. When she was calling me. Why? It's the other way around. The first thing we should look at is the person who compiled the text. We should look at their jivan. If a prophet is chosen, then that prophet does not always give prophecy. Hondeklo? Maharaj is doing Bani, huh? how much Bani we've got of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. But they lived for so long, they must have said other things apart from Bani. They must have said so much more, not just Bani, they must have said so much more. We look, we got, Maharaj Pali Gal Kitti, ki na koi Hindu, na Musliman. That's from our Janam Sakhi, the lives of the Gurus. So the first thing a Sikh tries to do is talk about the Gurus, to say Guru Sahib was perfect, Guru Sahib is amazing, then we accept Guru Gan Sahib Ji. But the opposite is done by some people. They don't want you to look at the content. They don't want you to look at the person. They just want you to accept this text as being from God. And you see, is if you accept that, everything else flows from there. But we think, no, let's start with the person himself. Because Wahiguru must choose people who are able to give guidance, spiritual guidance. And not just people who can just read out some words for you. If they themselves and their character, their lifestyle is not suitable to be a Pagat, to be a prophet of Wahiguru, then they can't be chosen as a messenger because they must be out there leading the people. Like Hondeko, it's a very bad example. Because if you take anybody who's a, a Pracharuk in our Panth, do you think that people only talk to them when they're doing Katha from the stage? No, no. People are always messaging them. People are always following them up. Sirkhande, not bad way, but they do. Because people want advice. People want advice. So the Prophet, any messenger, he's not going to spend his time only reading out the revelation. A lot of more of his time or her time is going to be spent giving guidance upon how one should live and how one should talk. So the character of the person, their actions must be paramount. We must look at the people. For us then, for a Sikh, we must look at what our Gurus did and not just what our Gurus said. See how they behaved. You see, for a Sikh, when they look at the Guru Sahib Zindagi, when they look at what Guru Sahib said and did, Vafa. Maharaj, you are the most amazing person who ever came. They will say, Aap Narayan Kalatar, Jagvich Parvaryo. Why Guru has come himself? Because the actions of our Gurus are perfect. Don't get trapped down this angle of trying to accept the text first. Say, no, no. Wahiguru must pick the right messenger. Wahiguru must themselves pick that person who's going to give so much advice to the people. So for us, we start with our Guru. Now, the thing is, 
Very unique about Guru Granth Sahib Ji, what people don't realize, is that Maharaj made Gurmukhi. If you're trying to bring something upon the world which is meant to be new, you're going to have to start somewhere which is new as well. When Maharaj came upon the earth and they knew they were going to come to change the whole world, the problem they had is that you've got two dominant forces there. Huh? The Hindu side and the Muslim side. <laughs> Call it whatever they had. But in there in Punjab, there was two main bunts. Now to break free of both of them, you're going to have to make something unique. And look at this. Our Guru themselves made their very own script. Gurmukhi Lipi. Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj invented it. Everything is written in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Now why? Because religion is very cultural. People will absorb you. If you, come part your, if you start speaking in a language of a person, they will say that you are part of our culture. We do it in English. They say, yo, this guy's a bit like me. So they relate to you. The culture makes a difference. So Guru, Guru Sahib, language and culture are infused. Yeah? If you start speaking with a London accent, the people from London will feel more close to you. For Guru Sahib to make a whole new language, it meant that Guru Sahib has come here to give something new that isn't already around. Because what do they say? Oh, you lot just took something from us. You lot took something from here and you made a whole new religion. So we have to counter that argument by saying no. We did not take anything from anybody because first the Bani has come down but Guru Sahib has made a whole new script. Why would they not just take the script that was available? Maharaj made something totally unique. And for us, it's so that we don't get absorbed. Now the funny thing about that phone call yesterday, you laugh about this, but the Benji said, I stopped going to Gurdwara and I stopped going to Mandir. So I said, Benji, you shouldn't have been going to Mandir in the first place. Yeah. But what's going on in our Panth, you know. The people are not figuring out that Sikhi is a, uni is a unique religion. A lot of our youth don't know that Sikhi is a unique and revealed religion. But I'll tell you one thing, we're going to sing a few words now that will give you the answer. Who made Sikhi? Okay? You all know the words. Everybody knows these words. Okay? Even the little kids know these words. But we don't think about these words. Okay? I'll start. Just join in with me. Don't sit there and say, Oh, I'm too shy. Ready? Agya peya kaal ki Tabe chalayo panth Sab sikhan ko hukm hai Guru maaneo granth Agya pei akal ki The order, agya hundi order Order is come from God Tabe chalayo panth Keda panth? Not just Guru Gobi Shinji's khasa panth But nanak nirmal panth chalaya This panth of Gunadev Ji Maharaj Was started by Vaheguru Agya pei akal ki Tabe chalayo panth And we have to accept Guru Gan Sahib is our Guru. Now some people say, I like Guru Nadev Ji, I accept them, but I don't, I'm not sure about the rest of the Gurus. If you don't accept Guru Angad, you don't accept Guru Nanak. He's the Ang of Guru Nanak. Ang means arm. You can't accept someone and say, I like you, but I don't like your arm. I don't like your leg. No. If you accept somebody, you must accept the whole of them. If you accept Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, then his limb, his arm, is Guru Angad. Just look at the word. If Guru Angad Dev Ji wanted to take over the Guru Gaddi, they wouldn't have called themselves Angad. They would have called themselves Nanak number two. No. They said Angad. Because Guru Nanak Dev Ji gave them that name. Their name was Lehna. They got given a name that you are my limb. Mara said, Imira Angya. To accept Guru Nanak means you must accept Guru Angad. The whole of Sikhi was started by Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. And Guru Maharaj made a brand new script for us. Why? So we can be unique and we don't get absorbed back into whatever is available out there. We're the only Pant in this world where Hindus say you're one of us and the Muslims say you're one of us. But if we talk to them between each other, they won't like each other. <laughs> but they want to take us. Why are we so unique? Because the thing is, it's the truth. Now let's look at this, the message. Islam is not trying to get people to become one with God. They say this is haram. You can't say that you're going to become one with God. They don't believe in it. Can they rabto vakri cheezya? Insan vakri cheezya? How can we become one? And look at the khalak and khalak. The creation and the creator. The creator made the creation, they say. And what does Kabirji say? Khalak, 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 khalak. 
They say the world, the Waheguru is in the world, and the world is in Waheguru. Our aim is to become one with Waheguru. Now, if Waheguru is the biggest thing in the world, it is the greatest. Then to become one with Waheguru means we've got the biggest aim. Like we said about PhD, GCSE, a GCSE text is trying to get you to learn up to GCSE level. A PhD text is trying to get you to PhD. We've got the deepest aim. There's nothing bigger than Waheguru. To become as big as Waheguru, to become one with Waheguru, ki Brahm Gyani Aap Nirankar, it must be the biggest aim. So obviously Guru Granth Sahib has come with the biggest aim on the planet. As a Guru, they've taken out the biggest challenge. <clears throat> ki Manas to Devte, to make person to become one with Waheguru. But there's something interesting, you see, that Guru Granth Sahib Ji is not just trying to show us the way. You know, if you have like a path, you've got two options. You can either walk on the path or you can shine a torch upon the path. Many people see Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj as wisdom. They say, this is my light, this is my wisdom. It's going to shine a light upon the path, but I have to walk the path. But Guru Granth Sahib Ji is more than just walking, than the, showing the light on the path. Guru Granth Sahib Ji is the path. Bani hi rasta hai ga. Maharaj can they? Amrit Bani, Har Har Teri, Son Son Ho Vai, Param Gat Meri. Param Gat means the highest state. The highest state to become one with Waheguru. <coughs> Amrit Bani, Har Har Teri. Waheguru, this Bani is yours. Son Son Ho Vai, Param Gat Meri. I get raised up to the highest stage. Maharaj Taini said, Maharaj Inanat Sahib said, Aavo Sikh, Satgur Ke Pyaareo, Gavo Sachi Bani. Sing the Bani. Why would Maharaj give us a hukam to sing Bani? Maharaj said, Tanam Mana Tan Sab Saump Gur Ko Hukam Mani Hai Pai Hai. If you give yourself to your Guru, accept the hukam, you will find Wahe Guru. What's the hukam? Hukam Mani Ho, Guru Kera, Gavo Sachi Bani. This is the way to God. It's not just showing us the way, it is the way. What's better than the light is the path. There's no point being shown the path and left alone to walk it. This is the path to God. So it, therefore, it must be the highest thing. If it can get you to the highest one, it is the highest one. The reason we matha take to Bani, because Bani is the way to God, it's not just showing us the way to God. The reason we matha take Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj is because it is Nirankar. The way to find God is to get Shabad to sit here. On the Eklo, Aavo Sikhsat Guru Ke Pyaareo Gaavo Sachi Bani Bani Ta Gaavo Guru Keri Bani A Sir Bani It's the highest Bani amongst all Bani. Bani A Sir Bani, on top of the Bani. Then, Jin Ko Nadar Karam Ho Vai Hirde Tinna Samani those who get blessed by their Guru, the Bani will sit inside their heart. Such a khand, vasay nirankar. Bani is God. Waho waho, Bani nirankar hai. To get to the level of such a, Bani vas jave, matab rab to gay. The game is inside, it's not outside. God isn't out there. God's in here. We have to make Bani sit in our heart. Then we'll find God. Bani is God. Therefore, Bani, that's why Matha take to Bani, because Bani is God's roop. Vaheguru is truth. Sach, Aade, Sach, Jugade, Sach, Happy, Sach, Nanak, Hosipi, Sach, Gavo, Sachi, Bani. Bani is the truth. We only have to become one with Bani to become one with God. Very fine technical thing here. It's not showing us the way, it is the way. We have to become one with Bani to find God. So obviously we're going to matha take to it. Somebody told me a story once. <laughs> one Mahapurk got me into Sikhi many, many years ago when I went to, Sikhi, uh, to boss camp. They said, somebody said to them, why do you matha take to Guru Granth Sahib Ji? Isn't it Buddha Puja? They say, listen, you know that GPS on your gaddi? When you're getting lost and the GPS gets you home, GPS. Thank you so much for finding me the way to get to my house. I was lost. But what about our Guru? Bhule Marag Jine Bataya Aisa Gur Vadpagi Paya. What is that Bhula Marag? Ki Vichhdiya 
मेले प्रभु हर दरगे का बसीट दिस इज आवर गुरु एज वी हे हिम दैस हाउ इज यू लिसन टू मी ठोक टू यू बाड ए यू हेयरिंग कि जैसा सतगुरु सुनीदा तैसो ही मैं डीट इफ यू वोक अपॉन दिस पास ऑफ सिख ही यू रियलाइज दिस इज द ट्रूथ द गुरु साहेब इज गोना ज्वाइन एस बैक टू गॉड इज द डीपेस्ट एम एंड गुरु साहेब कैन डू इट विद बानी वाई बिकॉज बानी इज मैंट बी संग पर विक्रम दी सिंह इज थोक इन अबाउट बानी इज मैंट बी संग वाई इज ए मैंट बी संग इज नॉट मैंट बी रेड एंड जस्ट अंडरस्टूड इज मैंट बी संग वाई वेन यू सिंग यू बिकम वॉम विद बानी You don't think about what you're thinking about. You think about Bani. Whose words are you singing? Gunadev Ji Maharaj. And they call. It's a bad example in Gurdwara, but those people of my generation, when we listen to James Brown, and he goes, you know, I feel good, and we start feeling good. We start smiling. Ek bari bhi laata na, we start smiling. Why? Because we're singing with that emotion. Maharaj is saying, I'm singing to God. They're singing to Bahi Guru. When we sing through their way. we will see through their eyes who is nanak in bani we are nanak we are not, we're singing jan nanak to we are becoming nanak when we sing bani we're looking through their eyes as we look through their eyes if we get even one the one sesame seeds worth of what maharaj had phir sada udhar ho gaya that's how deep it is that's all we need to look through guru's eyes and sing their words and we know it's their words because it's authentic maharaj put it Don't forget about proving God. Just prove that Guru wrote Bani. That's enough for a Sikh, and it is Amrit Bani. And those people that read that Bani and they go Waha, Waha. When they sing that Bani, they go Wow. I feel the Bani. Time for you to sit down and read it. Look, you can't just read it and read it. No other religion tells you. There's not one pant that says wake up in the morning and do 45 to one hour of part. They don't have it. We have it every day. Any ki on Sunday, a lot of people now they do jab jab on a Sunday, yeah. So Sunday, Sunday six, not for us. Nit, nit name, daily name. Why is Maharaj gonna get us to read part every day? Because part is gonna join us to Wahi Guru. We're not reading Bani because we're doing some kind of ritual. We're trying to get enlightened. If we get blessed, Sah Sangha Ji, to understand the Bani, if we get blessed to read it properly with the proper santhya. we will experience god through bani those people that read sukhni sahib every day those people that read japji sahib five six times a day they're doing it because they're feeling god through it they're not doing it out of some kind of ritual observation ki rab nu poojna hai ga we must do it they're doing it out of the love they experience bani if we're not experiencing bani then there's a problem with us there's not a problem with the bani i've met a lot of sikhs recently can they i do my part but i don't feel it i do my part but i don't feel it if you are one of those people right now you are thinking yeah i do it but i'm not sure sa sing sade vich ghatta hai ga mat kehna kabir sacha satguru kya kare jo sikha mein chook what can the guru do if the sikhs are not listening to the bani if the sikhs are not studying is our fault we're not teaching our kids from a young age the meaning of bani if we start to understand bani and now there's no excuse as well because we've got the ipods we've got the iphones we can go on youtube by sukhraj singh then katha seek inspiration you can go through jabti sada arth job sada arth on our channel is there as well there's no excuse now so i can't understand punjabi it's in english it's our farz to understand the meaning of bani i have a sad thing to tell you When I was at the Sikh uh, Sikhi camp, I did a. I asked the Sangat. Maybe it's worth asking, who has gone through Japji Sahib the Arth at least once from anybody? Doesn't matter who from. How many people have gone through Japji Sahib the Arth? I'm not going to ask you to, to like put your hands up right now, but I can tell you that at the camp, it was about five percent of the audience, probably less than that. Five percent is probably a little bit optimistic. What are we doing? What are we doing as a pant if we're not listening to the meanings of Jabji Sahib? Why are we even bothering to get up in the morning and do anything until we finish this thing? The Mara says, "Sikho shabd pyareyo, janam maran ki take the support of life and death. If it's that important, it can get us to God. And why are we not going through the meanings of it to understand it? Bani is meant to be read 
Bani is meant to be understood. Bani is meant to be experienced. It's meant to be experienced. If you're not experiencing Bani, then mehnat karo. Mehnat karo to learn into it. Khojo, vichar karo. Vichar the Bani. Learn what it means. You will experience it. It's not that it's not there. Bani has got no fault. Sade vichu if you're not experiencing it. So, Bani is Nirankar, Bani can join us to God. Therefore, Bani is the highest. Because Vaheguru is the highest. Sabte Uttam Harki Katha. This Katha to join us to God is the highest thing. That's why it's Bani Asir Bani. Now, also, Bani is medicine. Mara is saying, Home Diragrog hai, Darupi Ismahi. I met this Radha Swami one day. It was at my kids' nursery, but he's from a Hindu family. Before you start getting all excited, right? I said, um, I said I've met some. I went to Bias when I was went to India. I went to Bias, checked them out. They got different levels of Amrit depending on how much money you got. But leaving that aside, they. Are, I said to him, "Can I ask you a question? Simple question." I said, uh, "What's your name? What's your nit name? What, what do you have to do in the morning? What do you have to do in the evening? What's your discipline? What do you have to do?" The, he said, um, "Oh no." We have no such restriction. Acha, I said, restriction nahi hai ki kya, but do you have a prescription? They were hasan lagpe, I don't understand. I said, my guru is my doctor. He gives me a prescription. He knows I've got a disease, so he gives me medicine to eat in the morning, in the evening, at night time. changa banja. Have this medicine, it'll help you. What do we say about our guru? Mera bad guru gobinda. He is my doctor. Har har naam, okhad, mukh deva, kaate, jam ki, phanda. Guru Sahib has come here to teach us, not for us to learn from him. He's come to teach us. He's a doctor. So obviously a doctor gives you a prescription. What's the point of going to a doctor? And he goes, do tea, do. Go on, you'll be fine. You're walking around with a disease inside you. It's going to kill you. Kaate, jam ki, phanda. We're trapped by death. It's going to kill us. And he goes, look, you're all right, don't. Go on. We don't need such a doctor. We need a doctor that tells us the truth. Who fixes us, gives us the medicine. That is our Guru. That's what we bow to Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. It is the medicine for the disease that we have. The disease is Homme. Homme, Deerag Rog hai, Daru, Pi Ismahe, Age, Kirpa Kareje Apani, Ta Gurka, Shabad Kamahe. If we are blessed by Wahi Guru, we will earn the Shabad. We will earn the Shabad. We won't. Earn the Shabad. Bani hi rabe. Bani hi japa ke, pade ke, sun ke, asi tar jawange. That's why we sing. After we said Agya pe yakal ki, tabe chalayo pant, sab sikhun ko hukam hai, guru maan yo grant agge. Ki? Pargat kuran ki dehe. Fir, jo prab ko mele boche hai, khoj shabad mele hai. Search in the Shabad, you want to find God? Look in the Shabad. Understand what Bani is. It's not just showing us the way, it is the way. We can find God through Bani. We can cure our homme through Bani. Bani is Naam. Bani hi Naam hai. Tahi Amrit vele. When they give us Amrit, they put Bani into it. Bani is God. To meet God is God. The thing that makes you join, join with God is God. Light, dekho, Suraj and Roshni. Koi fark hai? Suraj te roshi koi fark hai? Not really. So, Guru Granth Sahib Ji is showing us the way to buy Guru. Is the roshni. Yeah? We say is oh, Gurbani is jag mein chanan. It's the light. Why Guru is the source of that light. <coughs> Sasanga Ji, only Guru Granth Sahib Ji in this world, among the texts, is divided by rag. There is no other text divided by rag. In which we both the dungi cheese hai hai. In Guru Granth Sahib Ji, you cannot find chapters upon certain topics. If you go to the Quran Sharif, you go to other texts, you'll be able to find the chapter that talks about certain thing or certain thing. You cannot find that in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. It's everything everywhere yeah, at all times. You might say, why is that? So I say, because it's the Guru. A Sikh has to learn from the Guru, not the Sikh chooses what to learn from the Guru. 
If you are somebody who goes to the Bible or to the Quran, you can choose what chapter to read and that's it. You get the gyan that you wanted. You get the gyan that you wanted. You don't get to choose. The Guru doesn't get to choose what to teach you. You are choosing what to learn from the Guru. But in Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, you don't get to choose what to learn. You get to listen to what Guru Sahib wants you to learn. They're in control all the time. Maharaj is in control of our learning. We're not in control of our learning. How can we choose what to learn from the Guru? Guru Sahib is Devan Dev. Rajan, Raj, Devan, Dev, Upma, Mahan. They are so amazing. Paan, Paan, Paan. They are the one in charge. They are the one in charge. That's why Bani doesn't let you choose what to learn. Bani tells you what it will teach you. Because Bani Guru, Guru hai Bani. It's in charge. Second thing, it's in Raag. Why is it in Raag? Pai Sahib said that Raag means emotion. Bani is designed to get us to sing, to connect. It's designed to connect. It's not designed to be read just like that. It's designed to be sung, designed to be joining us to Wahiguru. To design to invoke our heart. When you sing this Bani, your heart is in your heart. Why do you say that? The heart of your heart is Jin manhor mukhor se kande kachya dillo mohabbat. How do we get love with God? The whole world is asking the same question. How do I fall in love with God? Mara says, Saad sangat ke asre prabsyo rangalai. In the Saad sangat. And what will we do in Saad sangat? We will sing Bani. Bani is designed to get us to fall in love. Music will get us to feel the emotion first. Then we'll fall in love with God. It is the way. See, it is the way. It's designed to be the way. It's not designed to show us the way. It's designed to be the way. I'm going to go into depth. We talked about depth, no? We say to become one with God. We talked about Jabji Sahib the Art, that we should learn Jabji Sahib. But if we look at Jabji Sahib from Pauli 32nd onwards, which is, Ikdu ji baho lak ho hai, lak ho vah, lak vis. Lak lak geda akhiya hai, ek naam jagdis. Lak lak geda akhiya. Million, hundreds and thousands of times I would repeat the name of Wahiguru. What is this? Etarahe pat pavdiya. This is the road of the pati. Pati parameshwati pavdiya hai giya. The way, Maharaj then shows the way in the next seven steps. From the first step, they go through all the next seven steps. That's why I said, learn the Arthur Abji Sahib. I shouldn't be the person sitting up here because Pai Sukhraj Singh is here, but I'll carry on. Step one. Ki shub icha hove. That the right desire. The right desire being to jap naam. Ik du ji bo lak ho hai, lak ho vai, lak vis. I would keep chanting God's name. The right desire is to say Wahiguru's name. Next step. To give up the ego. To become humble. What do we say next? Akhna jor, chapehna jor, jor na mangan, de na jor. We have no jor. Jis hat jor, karve khe soe. Nanak, uttam neech na koe. Don't start thinking I'm better. He's worse. No. Mara says, think of yourself as nothing. It's all in his hands. Odi kirpa hoi hai. So we lose the ego. The next step is to lose the ego. Do the naam japana, shubichar. Shubichar, don't have any ego. Don't judge people. Then step three, after we got those things in our head, we have to come into Gurmat. Kar, ki come into Taramkhand. Ki karmi karmi hoye vichar. We realize our karma are going to be judged. Which types of karams? Man, bach, karam. Our mind, what we think, what we say, our bachin, and our actions. These three things will be judged. So the sick, when it gets to Taramkhand, starts to control their mind, their words, and also the actions. These three things have to become into Gurmat. This is the Gurmat step. Level 3, Taram Khan, Tarmi Banda Banna. Tarmi Insan Banna. Then Mara says, Number step 4, Spiritual Enlightenment, Gyan Khand. Gyan Te Pochna. To get some kind of Gyan of what is true and what is not true. Before we see the world as this, then we see the world as much bigger. We realize what is really there and what wasn't there. So we say, Gyan khand me gyan parchand. What is gyan khand all about? 
ਕੇਤੀਆਂ ਸੁਰਤੀ ਸੇਵਕ ਇਤ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਕੇਤੇ 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 ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਇਸ ਸੋ ਬਿਗ ਵੈ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਡੱਡੂ ਅ ਫਰੋਗ ਇਨ ਅ ਪੌਂਡ ਟੇਕ ਦ ਫਰੋਗ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਵੈਲ ਸੌਰੀ ਟੇਕ ਦ ਫਰੋਗ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਵੈਲ ਪੁਟ ਇਟ ਆਊਟਸਾਈਡ ਇਟ ਗੋਸ ਵਾ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਤਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਆ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਇਸ ਬਿਗ ਇਸ ਦੈਟ ਵੈਲ ਨੋ ਵੈਨ ਦਾ ਗੁਰ ਸਿਖ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਟੂ ਫਾਲੋ ਦਿਸ ਪਾਥ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਤਰਮੀ ਕਮਸ ਇਨਟੂ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਦੈਨ ਦੇ ਰੀਅਲਾਈਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਬਿਗ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਇਸ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਗਿਆਨ ਆਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਬਾਣੀ ਤੋਂ ਗਿਆਨ ਖੰਡ ਮੇ ਗਿਆਨ ਪਰਚੰਡ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਗੈਟ ਬਲਿਸ ਕੋਡ ਅਨੰਦ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਬਲਿਸ ਦੈਨ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਸਟੈਪ ਇਸ ਦ ਗੁਰ ਸਿਖ ਇਸ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਵਾਹ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਇਸ ਸੋ ਬਿਗ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਇਸ ਸੋ ਅਮੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਦੈਨ ਦੇ ਗੈਟ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਸ਼ਰਮ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਈ ਲੁਕ ਡਾਊਨ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਗੋ ਹਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਚਿਕਨੇ ਚੁੱਕ ਹੈ ਗਿਆ ਆਮ ਸੋ ਮੈਸਟ ਅਪ ਆ ਗੋ ਸੋ ਮਾਈ ਸੈਲਫ ਆਊਟ ਦੈਟ ਸ਼ਰਮ ਖੰਡ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਸ਼ਰਮ ਟੂ ਰੀਅਲਾਈਜ਼ ਓ ਮਾਈ ਗੋਸ਼ ਆ ਗੋ ਲੋਡਸ ਆਫ ਵਰਕ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਹੈ ਐਨ ਇਸ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਡੇਸ ਟੂ ਚੈੱਕ ਆਊਟ ਸਾਈਡ ਐਂਡ ਗੋ ਵਾਓ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਇਜ਼ ਅਮੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਹਮੇ ਆਪੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਫਿਰ ਤਿੱਥੇ ਖੜੀਏ ਕੜੀਏ ਸੁਰਤ ਮਤ ਮਨ ਬੁੱਧ ਆਵਰ ਸੁਰਤੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਸੋਟ ਇਟ ਆਊਟ ਸੁਰਤ ਮਤ ਆਵਰ ਮਤ ਸੋਟ ਇਟ ਆਊਟ ਆਵਰ ਮਨ ਸੋਟ ਇਟ ਆਊਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਵਰ ਬੁੱਧ ਸੋਟ ਇਟ ਆਊਟ ਫੋਰ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਟੂ ਸੋਟ ਆਊਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਆਫਟਰ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਦੈਟ ਤਿੱਥੇ ਕੜੀਏ ਸੁਰਤ ਮਤ ਮਨ ਬੁੱਧ ਤਿੱਥੇ ਕੜੀਏ ਸੁਰਾ ਸਿਧਾ ਕੀ ਸੁਧ ਵੀ ਗੈਟ ਦੈਟ ਲੈਵਲ ਆਫ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਦ ਸੁਰ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸਿਧ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸੇ ਲੁਕ ਹਾਊ ਡੀਪ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਟੂ ਸੋਟ ਦ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਆਊਟ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਗੋਸ ਔਨ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਲੁਕ ਵਾਟਸ ਗੋਨ ਟੂ ਹੈਪਨ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਇਜ਼ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਫੀਅਰ ਆਫ ਰੀਅਲਾਈਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਹਾਊ ਮਚ ਸਟਫ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਗੋਟ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਦੈਟਸ ਪੋ ਫੀਅਰ ਫਾਈਨਲੀ ਵੀ ਗੈਟ ਟੂ ਲਵ ਕਸ ਵੀ ਸੋਟ ਆਰ ਸੈਲਸ ਆਊਟ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਗੈਟ ਕਿਰਪਾ 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 ਕਰਮ ਖੰਡ ਪਿਓ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਫੁੱਲ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਬਾਬੇ ਦੀ ਦੈਟਸ ਕਰਮ ਖੰਡ ਕਸ ਕਰਮ ਇਸ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਤੋ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨਸ ਦੈਟ ਦ ਆਫਟਰ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਬਿਕਮ ਫੁੱਲ ਆਫ ਲਵ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਤਿੱਥੇ ਸੀਤੋ ਸੀਤਾ ਮਹਿਮਾ ਮਾ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਸੀਤਾ ਟੂ ਰਾਮ ਸੀਤਾ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਸ਼ੀ ਪ੍ਰੇਜ਼ਸ ਰਾਮ ਸ਼ੀ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਲੋਇਲ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਪ੍ਰੇਜ਼ਸ ਰਾਮ ਵੀ ਬਿਕਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਸੀਤਾ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਤਿਨ ਮੇ ਰਾਮ ਰਹਿਆ ਭਰਪੂਰ ਇਸ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਕਹਾਣੀ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਅਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਲਵ ਆਫ ਅਸ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਟ ਦ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਨੋਰਮਲ ਲਵ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਹੈਵ ਦ ਡੀਪੈਸਟ ਲਵ ਸਾਚੀ ਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਹਮ ਤੁਮ ਸਿਓ ਜੋਰੀ ਤੁਮ ਸਿਓ ਜੋਰੀ ਅਵਰ ਸੰਗ ਤੋਰੀ ਡੀਪੈਸਟ ਲਵ ਦ ਮਾਰਸ ਸੇਸ ਵਾਟ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਪਨ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਬਿਕਮ ਫੁੱਲ ਆਫ ਗ੍ਰੇਸ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਪ੍ਰੇਜ਼ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਲਿਵ ਇਨ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੇਜ਼ ਆਫ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਐਂਡ ਫਾਈਨਲੀ ਯੋਰ ਐਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਨ ਵਿਦ ਧਰਮ ਰਾਈਚਸ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਓਨਲੀ ਐਕਟ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਰਾਈਚਸਨੈਸ ਬਟ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਸਟੈਪ ਸਾਸੰਗ ਜੀ ਸੱਚ ਖੰਡ ਵਸੈ ਨਿਰੰਕਾਰ ਲੁਕ ਐਟ ਦ ਡੀਪੈਸਟ ਲਵ ਵੀ ਟੋਕਡ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਡੈਥ ਮਾਰਜ ਇਜ਼ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਜਪਤੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਪਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਹਾਰਟ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਖੰਡ ਪੀਪਲ ਥਿੰਕ ਵਾ ਵਾਈ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਡਸ ਅ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਖੰਡ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਸੱਚ ਖੰਡ ਦਾ ਵਰਡ ਸੱਚ ਖੰਡ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਕਮ ਇਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਅਗੇਨ ਆਫਟਰ ਜਪਤੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਟ ਡਸਨਟ ਕਮ ਅਗੇਨ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਦ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਹੂ ਡੂ ਬੀ ਆਸਕ ਵੀ ਲੈਸ ਆਸ ਪਾਈ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਦ ਕੁੰਜੀ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਸੱਚ ਖੰਡ ਹੈ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਇਸ ਸੱਚ ਖੰਡ ਵਾਟਸ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਸੱਚ ਖੰ
Here is the truth and here is not the truth. We want to get here. Maharaj is here. 100% truth is here. 100% untruth is here. Along this line, Sasanga Ji, is every person alive. Not religion. Religion is irrelevant. Na koi Hindu, na Muslim. We are people. People are along this line. Ke nede, ke dur. Some are closer, some are further away. But the truth is this. Guru Granth Sahib Ji is the complete truth. Why? Because all the truth anywhere in the world is in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. If you're a Muslim and you find God, you will find Him through this way. Why? Mara says, leave aside your calm, krodh, lobh, mo, ahankar. Leave these things aside and embrace sat, santok, daya, taram, nimrata, khema. You can't find God another way. Ho hi sagda. It has to be this way. The way of the saints is this. Sant ka marag, taram ki paudi, ko vad paagi pai. To fall upon righteousness, to be a good person is the first step. But the Santaka Maharaj is given out in Guru Granth Sahib Ji for us. So, everybody has to go through this way. So there is no religion. All there is, is people that are closer to the truth and further away from the truth. And the truth is here. To give another analogy, imagine a mountain. Everybody says, you know what, everybody's got to climb up this mountain. Rab there, we have to climb up. You've got a couple of options. You could climb it individually. Some people nowadays say, I don't need a Guru. Or climb it myself. Some people say, well, let's climb in groups. That's good as well. For me, Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj and Sikhi is that ski lift. Jump on, straight to the top. But you could climb up other ways. There's a risk though. There's a risk of climbing up by yourself. You know when you climb up mountain by yourself, every time you go up a little bit, you put a little clipper into the wall and you string your rope on there so you don't fall. The problem is the mountain could be really high and your rope might not be long enough. There's one guaranteed way of getting to God. Find someone who's come from there. Guru Sahib has come from there. He's guaranteed to take us back. Bani has come from there. Ilahi Bani. Turki Bani Aai. Tin Sagli Chint Mitai. Chinta is ki zindagi da banna ki hai ga. Mara says to naam japle, everything will be sorted out. Basically, I said what Bhai Sahib said earlier, just a bit longer. The point is, Guru Sahib has come from there, he is a ski lift, he is the ultimate truth, uttam truth. Uttam eho bichar hai, jin sache syo chitalaya. The highest bichar in Kaljug is the bichar that joins us to Wahiguru. So Guru Sahib is that bichar. Bani has got bichar. Bani has got that, because if you ask Guru Sahib, what's in Guru Granth Sahib Ji? They give us a solution. They say, Thal vich tin vastu payo, sat santok vicharo, amrit naam thakur ka payo, jis ka sabs adharo, je ko khawe, je ko bunche, this ka hoe udharo udhar udhar ho jana if you eat bani toda udhar ho jana mara says toda udhar ho jana you will be saved why will be saved because bani has got truth contentment and vichar all of which are to do with naam they all related to naam api ne aap sajiyo api ne rachiyo now they made themselves first then they made their naam then they made the world. Dui kudra saji hai. Karasan ditho. Chao. Naam is as high as Wahiguru. It's higher than Uche upar ucha. Naam. That Naam is in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. It's got truth. Sat. Naam. Santok. Deho Naam Santok hiya utre man ki. Pukh. Santok is about Naam. Sat is about Naam. And Vichar is about Naam. These three things are related to Naam. Maharaj has given us this. This is the thali of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. If you eat this, if you digest it, you will get mukti. So Guru Sahib is telling us at the end, what will happen to you if you follow Sikhi. Because Manavni Mahalla Panjava is right at the very end of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Just before Raag Mahala Maharaj. Dekhlo. So, to end it, in summary, Maharaj has given us the highest mission. Maharaj has given us not just the light, but the path itself. In such an amazing way that the Sikhs themselves haven't realized how amazing Guru Maharaj is. No one else's fault. 
we are at fault, we didn't explain how amazing our Guru is to at least the six. Those people that bow to Guru Granth Sahib Ji should know how amazing Guru Granth Sahib Ji is. And this is only one penny's worth. Out of this million, billion dollars worth, ek penny sigi of how amazing Guru Granth Sahib Ji is. We must study it. My benti to you, study Guru Granth Sahib Ji wherever you can. Wherever you can, learn the art. It's not, I'm not here saying you should learn, go on our channel. Jitte bhi sik sakde hai gyo. Learn the meaning of Bani. Find someone who is walking this path and learn the Bani. You will be blessed. Ayo sunan padan ko Bani. If you forget Bani, you forget God. You forget Naam. Naam visar lage hai. Unlalaj. Lost in other things. Birtha janam parani. Our life will be wasted if we don't learn Bani. There's much, much more to say. I haven't gone into it about science of Sikhi. You can find videos upon the science of Sikhi. The science of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj is very, very deep. Very, very deep. And even I was at Cambridge University doing a talk about this. It's very, very deep. So we should learn it. We should learn more about the science of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. What's inside there? I'm sure I've made loads of mistakes. Forgive me as your younger brother to some people. I'm just a child, really, learning Bani. The more and more I learn, the more and more blessed I feel. Luckily, I took Amrit without even learning any Bani. I say luckily, I took Amrit first, then I found Gurbani. And I was like, wow, it's amazing. Many people learn Bani, they still haven't taken Amrit, and I wonder about them. What's going on? Bani is so, our Guru is so amazing, it's enough to give our head to them. Bani is just blows your mind. So it's our farz, it's a good sikh to learn it, understand it. And just you can do it, so you can do it. Pula Chukha Dikhe Bhakshin Ji. Bless me, Deo Sajana Sisriya, Johove, Sahib Siyo Mail, that we carry on walking upon this path and teaching sikhi. And Gaj Gaj Ke Fateh Aakni Ji. Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Vahe Guru Ji.